Right, we're just going to do a quick rundown of the antennas at ZL2 Fox Tango's QTH. Uh, so, a quick rundown of the uh, amateur radio antennas that we have on the house here in North Island, New Zealand. Okay, I'll just start off with the first, the main antennas, which is just the inverted L dipole, 40 meters and 80 meters. Let's have a look. Here's the tower. And here's the pole going up. It's up about maybe about 28, 30 feet from the ground. Just got the dipole going down that way. So a pole down the back. There's two poles here because we had to bend the leg in to get the 80 meter leg in. It goes down and across, as you can see. And then from the shorter pole there closest to us is the 40 meter dipole going back up to the peak of the, um, the mast. Then the other leg of the 40 meter dipole comes down here and goes to a old piece of water pipe that's mounted to the side of the, the house here. And that just goes back up up there to the the mast. And then the 80 meter wire comes straight across here and then down to the back of the yard there and there's a, a short pole it's only probably about, uh, probably only about 12 feet, 11 feet off the deck. That's the 80 meter leg deck, straight above us. Back up to the top of the uh, the pole. Okay, over here we've got the old Station Master CB vertical. Tuned for 26 megs, but I use it for 12 meters. Of course, goes okay on 15. 10 meters would be good, but of course, too much TVI on it, so can't use 10 meters in this neighborhood. That's probably about, you see there's the ground there, so it's probably about 17 feet to the apex, so it's probably about 19, 20 feet to the base of that uh, station master vertical. And it goes quite well with many stations in the states off that, uh, the old station master, it's got the big old coil at the base there. Okay, have a look over here. Up there on the roof, it's slightly elevated there, is a Diamond X300 vertical. A little 5 element 2 meter Yagi pointing towards Palmerston North, in the central part of the North Island. And just another little whip on to the side there, you might see a, a shorter vertical which they just use for a scanner. There's one, I'm not sure if the camera's picking up, a little black whip just before the, uh, the main mast in the middle there, closest to us there little black five foot vertical there also just for scanning VHF airband um, you see it's just coming into spring down here in New Zealand early uh, September and there's the old tower this is an old A-frame set up at the bottom it's buried the base it's got some big old I think railway pillars at the bottom there buried into the ground and there's a a lattice tower there. That's a mount that's bolted to the side of the house, bracketed to the tower to keep it stable. And it goes up the pole, up to a little arm at the top. It holds the uh, holds the uh, the one-to-one -one bell and out for the 40 meter, 80 meter dipole. And, uh, if that comes down to the backyard here. Get a shot, just come and walk down here and have a look and get the shot back onto it. Get the short pole there, the leg there that goes off for 40 metres back up, and there's the leg that's bent over for the uh, 80 metre back across to the pole that's mounted against the shed down the back here. It's just a piece of water pipe that goes up to clear it up for the 80 metres. Then back up across, of course. To the antenna. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We're running here. There's about six or seven antennas to memory. And that seems to get out okay, that wire antenna up there. 
good signals into Europe or 40 and uh, goes around on 80 meters around ZL. Okay, that's a pretty much pretty much it.